it's Michael Dr. T. Tequila here, and I am excited about going to this year's Atlantic Coast Veterinary Conference. I, I've, I've been given the honor of actually reaching out to some of the speakers and making little video vignettes about what they're talking about, just talking about the profession, and it's been great, and I'm having a blast doing it, and I'm really honored to talk to Dr. Sean Smerick. He is an emergency and critical care specialist. He's also the hospital director and director of collaboration. Um, he... he he built this practice, Allegheny Veterinary Emergency Trauma and Specialty Center. And when I was doing my research for it, you know, typically I see a few doctors here and there at the special practice, but I was blown away. He's got like 20 plus doctors there and he's still working strong himself. And we were chatting before this video and he's he's uh, visiting uh, Tinton Falls Red Bank because he's involved with Compassion First. And I, he's always busy, always talking, and I really appreciate him spending a little time with me to talk about the, the conference. So, Sean, thanks so much for, for talking to me. And, and what are you going to be talking about at the conference? What, what will get people excited about what you have to say? Oh, well, Michael, thanks for uh, giving me the opportunity to uh, get the word out of what we're going to be uh, doing at Atlantic Coast. Uh, I uh, really enjoy... Uh, bringing uh, to both primary care and emergency clinicians uh, kind of topics and subjects that are germane to their practice every day. I'm going to be talking about CPR, and then once we get the patient back, then what do you do <laughs> thereafter? So that's always that's always a good thing. And uh, again, that is something very germane to emergency practice, but I don't think a lot of primary care people realize that, quite frankly, they're in a better position to get that patient back than I am as an emergency and critical care specialist. The patients that, uh, are, their patients are, are supposed to leave the hospital uh, for the most part. Uh, nobody, looks, uh, nobody looks at me funny as a criticalist if something in my ICU doesn't, you know, doesn't, doesn't make it. So uh, again, try to pick some topics that uh, there's something there for everybody. And uh, we start off with CPR. And then if we have a successful CPR, then what do we do thereafter? That's a couple. We're gonna talk a little bit about uh, fluid therapy and uh, that's uh, always a hot topic uh, going to uh, going to IVEX uh, this year. And I'm looking for this, looking forward to hearing one of the human, uh, very well respected experts in, in emergency and critical care uh, talk about fluid therapy. And I'll be uh, looking forward to sharing what he has to say at Atlantic Coast. So those are some of the some of the topics I really enjoy uh, speaking about. Uh, Dr. Jamie Burke and I, uh, a colleague. Uh, who's also doing a number of other emergency and critical care lectures? We're going to have a uh, we're going to have uh, an hour together just to talk about cases that uh, that participants want to bring. What do you know? If, if people have uh, want to get some opinions from from two different emergency and critical care specialists, uh, we're going to have a whole hour just dedicated to that. I can't tell you how fantastic it is. Those two topics, CPR and fluid therapy, those are those are areas that we as day practitioners, we're scared of it. We're scared of it. We're scared of that real, you know, that that lack of great knowledge. And, and coming from uh, critical care specialists like yourself, I think that's phenomenal. And rounding, being able to bring our, our concerns and questions about cases, those are the best case scenarios. Th those are fun for you because you're sitting there and they're, they're just drilling you with these questions and you're able to... Exactly. Them. Oh, I think th th those are the best case scenarios. I, I really love it. Um, so I look forward to actually physically meeting you there, but I'll, I'll probably come up after a talk and, and chat. But I, I want to throw a question at you, and I think it, a lot of it has to do with just your success in the, in the profession. So how do you personally define success in veterinary medicine? Well, I, you know, as you said, success can mean different things to different people. And uh, I think being happy. Uh, I think being happy and, uh, you know, when you read a lot of, of what's going on out there in veterinary medicine, uh, some of it isn't about being happy, uh, it, it, but it actually is because first, we, if we can identify some of the challenges we face, whether it's long hours, whether it's student debt, um, uh, those kinds of issues, uh, by talking about those, compassion fatigue, by talking about those, we now can, once we identify the problem, now we can uh, start approaching it and, and trying to find solutions. Because really that's what, is, you know, when, when I look back, uh, it's been uh, it's been a great ride and looking forward to, to, to you know, ride this out a little longer, uh, both uh, academically and from a business point of view. And uh, that's why I like connecting uh, with practitioners uh, at conferences such as Atlantic Coast. It, it's something that something there for everybody. Uh, yes, uh, both uh, uh, in the emergency and critical care track, both, both Dr. Jamie Burkett and I have uh, have worked in academia here and there. But we've also been in the real world. And so we like to share 
share that experience. And I think uh, there's just because uh, we're emergency and critical care people uh, don't mean we haven't seen compassion fatigue, have not experienced crushing debt load, uh, either as a person or as an employer. And so those are uh, those are definitely, I, I think, uh, really what it comes down to. Success is, are you happy? And if not, then how do we get there? Awesome. You got to give a management talk. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that's so great, Sean. So, so everyone, it's October 9th through 12th in Atlantic City. You know, come on down. And at, at the very least, if you're young and in the profession, Sean will make a great mentor. He's been through, he, he's been through academia. He's, he's owned his own business. He's specialized. Lots of areas that, that I know there's lots of questions about. And even um, some of you practicing vets, I, I know that, that some of you are thinking about going into specialty. And Sean can then give you his, his take on everything. So I think it's a great opportunity for this. Absolutely. I actually spent 10 years in practice before going back and doing my residency at UC Davis. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, you got a great story to tell. Well, Sean, thanks so much, and I look forward to seeing you in October. I'm looking forward to Atlanta Coast. It's my first one, and uh, I think it uh, won't be the last. Great. Great.